guys, welcome back. It's your girl Katie here and today's video I'm going to be talking about trash. And what does that mean? I'm going to be talking about my empties for since the last time I did one of these empty videos. I would like to have be doing empties each month but sometimes I use up a products like pro a lot of products up in one month and then other months it takes like two or three months before I accumulate enough to do a video. Um, so I can't remember how long it's been. It's probably been a couple of months I would guess. Um, so yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is going through each empty product here or trash product here and telling you guys what I thought of the products and whether or not I would repurchase them. So yeah, before we get on into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. But other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so you know, I got I got a handful, handful of stuff here. Not, not a ton, but not, not a little mostly honestly skincare products which is nice because I have a lot of skincare so it's like an accomplishment when I can add a skincare product into my empties bucket <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with odds and ends first kind of so first up I have something here from Dove and this is the new rejuvenating pomegranate hibiscus tea uh, body wash um, Honestly, when I bought this, I don't know what I was thinking because I ended up hating the smell of this. Like, it was just off for me. Like, it, it was it's not the product's fault, like, like it's expired or anything. It's just, I think I smelled it in the, so, in the store and I was like, mmm, that smells good. And then when I got it home and started using it in the shower and stuff, I'm like, you know, I really just don't like the smell. So, aside from the smell that I didn't like, the actual product was fine. I mean, it didn't dry out my skin. It, I mean, I wouldn't say it really moisturized my skin because I still had to apply lotion, but I don't feel like it dried me out more than I already was. So that's good because that, some body washes will dry me out and this one didn't. And it was pretty gentle on the skin. I didn't have any reaction or anything to it. It's just, unfortunately, I didn't like the smell of it. So I wouldn't, I would repurchase uh, one of Dove's body washes, just not this exact scent. All right, then I have a makeup wipe packet here. I bought these, like I think it was in a pack of three um, at TJ Maxx, and this is the Spa Scriptions um, Makeup Cleansing Wipes, and this is in the scent Coconut, and it has vitamin A and C in it. I really did, I really did like this makeup wipe. It took off the makeup uh, really well, and um, it didn't leave my skin feeling like gross afterwards. I mean, I always usually wash my face after I remove my makeup, but with this, I probably didn't have to, but I always do just to make sure, you know, I don't want pimples or anything, but, um, but yeah, I really did like this. Um, like I said, it came in a pack of three, so there's like three different scents, so I'm using another one, and I think it's like aloe vera or something like that. Um, so yeah, I would definitely repurchase this again. I think it was pretty inexpensive. I mean, I did get it at TJ Maxx, so I think I paid like, four dollars for a pack of three maybe maybe five dollars um i don't remember the exact price on them but it was pretty inexpensive and it has how many does it have it had 30 wipes in it which is pretty good so yeah definitely would repurchase this all right then i have some lotion that i used up i got this in one of my subscription boxes and this is by human and kind skincare with conscience and this is a body souffle Play is such a bougie word or a fancy word. Um, this lotion was good. I wouldn't say I would repurchase it just because I'm pretty sure this was, I don't know, expensive. I mean, I could be wrong. It might not be that expensive. But usually when I get lotions and things from subscription boxes, they're always like $30 or something. So um, if it was that price, I wouldn't buy it again. If it was like $10, I would probably repurchase it just because, I don't know, it wasn't bad. I can't remember how it smelled. Oh, yeah, it did smell pretty nice. I didn't say the scent of it, but I mean, it's body lotion. I'm not too picky about body lotion. It made me feel more hydrated when I applied it, you know, because I usually try to apply lotion on after I get out of the shower or something. Um, so it was nice, and it lasted me a while. I mean, it was a pretty good tube, pretty good sized tube. Um, I just don't think I'd repurchase it just because, I don't know, I buy lotion from like Walmart or something for like $3. I, like I said, if maybe if that's like, dollars I might buy it again but any more than that I wouldn't repurchase it all right then I have I don't know how to say this brand um, but I have some it's supposed to be body wash or hand wash here I got this again in a 
subscription box and this is called the yoga calm and clean it's got epsom salt it's either a hand like i said as hand wash or a body wash i tried using this as both i tried at first using it as a body wash and i didn't like using it as a body wash it just didn't lather up enough for me i prefer body washes that kind of lather up a little bit you know it doesn't have to be like super bubbly or anything but just enough because i usually whenever i'm in the shower and i'm using body wash I shave my legs at the same time, so I need something that has a little bit of, uh, I want the body wash to lather up a little bit so I can shave my legs, because I don't use shaving cream because I'm being lazy, I don't, I don't, soap is just the same as me, to me as, as, uh, shaving cream. But anyway, so this didn't, um, so this didn't lather up very much, but I did really like it as a hand wash, it cleansed my hands pretty well, it did. It had like a, it does have like, it has lavender oil in it, so at first I didn't like the smell of it because it has like a very essential oil kind of smell to it, but after a while it did kind of grow on me and I did like it. Um, so depending on the price of this, I don't remember how much this was in the subscription box. I don't remember what the retail value of this was. I'm pretty sure it was like 20 bucks or something, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it for that price, but if I found it like at TJ Maxx or something for like $8 or something, I would, I would for sure repurchase this. So yes and no. I would buy it if I found it on a good price, but I wouldn't buy it at its original price. All right, three more skincare products and then the rest is makeup. All right, so I have a product here from Dr. Brannett. This is the Pure Purifying Cleanser. Um, this is supposed to be for oily or combination skin. Um, it was a pretty nice cleanser. Dr. Brannett is really expensive, so I would probably never repurchase this just because of how expensive it is, but it was a nice cleanser. It was pretty, um, it was pretty gentle on the skin, at least for my skin. I wouldn't say I have overly sensitive skin, so for me it was gentle on my skin, but I don't know if, I don't know if my skin's like tougher than most. I mean, I don't usually have bad reactions to, um, skincare products, so I, I'd say probably my, I have tougher skin probably. So it was fine for my skin tone. It didn't, um, my skin type. It didn't dry me out or anything. I can't really say that it like prevented breakouts because I still got breakouts, but it seemed like it did kind of help my clear up breakouts. When I did have breakouts, I feel like this did help clear that clear them up a bit. Um, I'm not saying it's like for acne or anything. I'm just saying if you had a pimple here and there, it might help clear it up a little bit, but it wasn't like, like I said, it wasn't preventing me from having breakouts. Um, so if I found this in a good deal or something, I might pick it up again, but I have other ones. So honestly, I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because it didn't really do anything like spectacular for my skin. It just cleansed it and maybe helped clear up a couple of pimples, but overall not a bad product. Just not really my favorite. All right, this, then I have something from Nourish by Tonical Beauty, and this is a dewy toner. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx on sale, and if I found this again, I would probably definitely pick it up again. I don't think it actually, I don't know, it, it just felt nice on the skin, and I feel like it did tone it some. I wouldn't really, and it didn't dry me out, that's for sure. Uh, I would say that this is a dewy. It's not like it made me super dewy looking, it's just it didn't dry me out. I, my skin didn't feel like tight or like dried out afterwards, so this was really nice. Um, I wouldn't say that it helped my pores or anything like it says it does. It's supposed to like improve your pores and I still have pretty enlarged pores so I wouldn't say it did that but it did feel nice on the skin and if I didn't have any other toners I would definitely pick that back up. Alright and the last skincare product is actually one that I finished just before I started filming this video. This is the Tidal Brightening Esme en Enzma ends me water cream by sunday riley um i would not repurchase this just because sunday riley again is expensive and i'm cheap but there's a couple things i didn't like about it i do feel like it did brighten my skin a bit uh, whatever that means i mean i feel i looked brighter i guess but it's not like it bleached my skin or anything because that'd be dumb um i did feel like my complexion did look a bit brighter you know um, but this is one of those gel cream moisturizers and I have found that gel cream moisturizers don't work well for me. I have a ton of them just from, I didn't buy this like 
from the store. I got this in a box. So if you're wondering like, then why are you using a gel one if it doesn't work? I'm just using up what I have. And predominantly they send gel moisturizers. But like I said, they don't work for my skin tone. And I find that when I apply a gel one, I can always still feel it on my face. Like my body doesn't always completely absorb them. So I feel like my skin tone does better with oil products than uh, um, gel ones, or at least all the ones, all the gel moisturizers I have tried, they just don't really work. They just, I always feel them on my skin. It's kind of always like sticky or something. Um, and I don't really think it did much like when hydrating wise, I, I still had dry spots and I don't know. It was nice to use it, but I would repurchase this. All right, so there's all the skincare products. So a couple of products that are t technically trash products, but they're not empties because I didn't get to use them up all the way. Um, so here's first one is the Cover FX glitter drops here, and then an iconic London London Illuminator here. These are both in my declutter videos for my highlighters. The reason why I'm just including them is because I wouldn't repurchase these. Um, the reason why I'm tossing them is they're just old and kind of dried out and everything. So I decided to include them in this video because I wouldn't repurchase these. Uh, these are too, from when I remember using them, is too glittery. It's like straight up. When it said glitter drops, it means it. It's just glittery. And then this here is just too dark for me. I don't even, it doesn't say what shade it's in, but it was too dark for me. Like I could see it on my, on my skin when I applied it, so... Yeah, I wouldn't repurchase these. All right, this one I kind of used up, but again, it did dry out on me. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Havana. I think I would, well, I'd like to say that I would repurchase this, but I probably won't. Just because, I don't know, I'm not more, my taste is constantly changing when it comes to makeup, and right now I'm really not loving vampy looks I don't know it's just not I've not been in the mood for a vampy dark red lip I'm now I'm in a mood for brighter lipsticks like bright red lipsticks so I don't think I would repurchase this maybe in the future if my taste change again and I'm liking vampy lip looks I would but right now I, just, I can't say that I would it is a really good lipstick though I did really like it I think Oprah has some of the best um, liquid lipsticks, their formula, or at least the ones that I tried, the formula has always been really good. It stays on your lips. I mean, I think you have a little bit of transfer, maybe like if you drink from a cup or, you know, kiss pretty hard on the back of your hand or something, it'll have a slight transfer, but overall the formula is dries down pretty quickly and it's very comfortable on the lips and I never found that they, they never dried out my lips, which is nice because um, that's one thing about liquid lipsticks I've never liked is when they dry out your lips, but these never did. Um, so I would definitely repurchase different lipsticks, just maybe not the shade. All right, then we have another product here from Iconic London, and this is the Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. I think this one did dry up on me. I used it as much as I could, but eventually, but eventually it did it just kind of dry out. I would not repurchase this just because I don't like the cushion idea. It seemed like this product dried out pretty quickly. I just don't like uh, cushion products. Um, the, the actual formula and everything was okay. It, it, I don't know. I just didn't like it. So yeah, just wouldn't repurchase it. All right, and then last up is this product here from Becca. This is the Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, finished it up well almost finished it. I pretty much finished it up but there is like a smidge left in there and I couldn't get the product the rest of the product out it has like this net in there which was nice at first but trying to get the rest of the product out um, was kind of a pain it would always just fall back through the net so I was I never got all of it out but I, I mean I basically did there's like there's only like a little bitty left um I wouldn't repurchase this I didn't really like it seemed like it, it clung to my patches and the whole like hype of this product was that it felt cold to the touch or wet and at first when I got this in a boxy charm box when I first got it it did feel wet and it was really cool and really weird at the same time like putting powder on that felt wet was really weird but that didn't last forever um, even though I kept it closed you know I kept the lid on I never left it out or exposed to the air it dried out like that that 
that uh, wet effect didn't last long. Um, I think it only la lasted a couple of times that I used it and after that it just felt like normal setting powder. So I thought that was kind of, uh, I don't know what the word would be, lame? I don't know. I felt that it was a little bit lame that that was the whole point of the hype of this product was that it felt wet on your face and then it didn't even last long. So it's basically just like a normal powder. Um, yeah, it didn't really look the greatest on my skin. I have pretty dry skin and this is supposed to be a hydro mist set but I don't think this was hydrating at all so definitely wouldn't repurchase that but yeah that is it that is all my empties for this past couple of months um and yeah those are my thoughts and opinions on them so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these types of videos and let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my empties for the this month I guess I, it's not for this month the past couple months um but other than that guys I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will catch you guys in my next video bye